Amazon loves AI, except when candidates use it in their job interviews. All right. So Amazon is cracking down on the use of AI tools in job interviews. AI assistant interviews pose ethical challenges and have sparked debate in Silicon Valley. Some Amazon employees consider AI tools to be beneficial, while others see them as dis. Honest. All right, so generative AI tools like coding assistants and teleprompter apps feed people live answers during job interviews, giving a leg up to candidates looking for an edge. Okay, so I'm a little confused by this because coding assistants, if you use like cursor or something like that during a job interview, the interviewer would see it. I guess you could ask questions like chat GPT, but I don't know if I'd say that's really feeding a live answer because it's like you're asking questions and getting answers and I I think that would be very hard to actually do during an interview. And teleprompter apps, <laughs> which of y'all are using a teleprompter in an interview? Or like, why is this in quotes even? What does this even mean? Let's, let's click on this. Job seekers are using controversial AI teleprompter apps to crush their interviews. Like, are we talking just straight up a teleprompter with answers on it? So there's a wave of AI magical teleprompter apps that feed candidates answers in job interviews. They range from free bare bones apps to professional startups raising venture capital funding. Is this unethical trickery or the inevitable future of the job interview? Who's raising money on helping people cheat coding interviews? All right, Michael, maybe Michael Guan is, wants you to use AI to bluff your way through that job interview. Just don't call it cheating. Okay, so he's a co-founder of Final Round AI, a startup building artificial intelligence powered tools for job seekers. There's an AI resume builder, a cover letter writing service, and a mock interview tool. Okay, none of those I have a problem with. I don't even see how that's remotely cheating. Assuming the resume builder is not lying on the resume, but it's just like taking the information you give it about your own life and making a good resume for it. I don't actually really mind that all that much. The cover letter, I guess I mind a little bit more other than the fact that I think cover letters are completely pointless anyways. And I don't think there's all that many tech companies asking for them. And if they are, I don't think there's that many that put that much weight into them. So I don't really care about that. And a mock interview tool just seems objectively good if it's helping you interview. So I don't really see how many of that is an issue. But, and more provocatively, there's Copilot, an app that listens in on job interviews and quietly feeds the interviewee with answers they can read out. Interesting. Okay, so Copilot is obviously the name of Microsoft's tools. So I wonder, is this like using Co like Microsoft Copilot or is it just a different tool with the same name, which is confusing? Or I, I don't fully understand what exactly this is referring to, but the idea of an app that listens in on the job interview and quietly feeds the interviewee with answers at the surface level, I very much dislike this, right? The idea of you have some earpiece telling you what to say, or maybe you have a teleprompter in front of your webcam and it's sort of telling you what to say that way. I don't like that. But also, I don't think it would even work. I think as an interviewer, I would be able to very, very easily tell if somebody was reading answers. For example, I've used a teleprompter on a good amount of videos on this channel, and probably the first 20 times or so I used it, the videos were horrible because it was obvious that I was reading the sort of inflectuation in my voice wasn't natural and just everything didn't feel very normal. It didn't feel very human because of the way I was reading. And I think it's just very obvious and very, very few people actually have the skill of being able to read off of a teleprompter in a natural way. And even worse is if the content of that teleprompter is being generated by an AI, it's going to be in sort of AI speak. And because of that, it's not going to sound human and it's going to sound very different than anything you say in that interview that's not coming from the teleprompter. So for example, at the start of the interview, you might just be casually chatting, but then when they ask you a question that's sort of hard and you start reading off of the teleprompter, the way that you speak is going to change because you're going to be speaking in the tone of that AI and it's going to be very, very obvious. So I don't know, ethically, I disagree with this, but even practically, I, I don't think it would work very well. But okay, it can prompt the candidates with the right thing to say at the right time, he told me, like a magical teleprompter using AI. Interesting. Okay, so let's go back to the, the main article and let's see what it has to say about Amazon specifically with AI. So Amazon, one of the largest employers in the world, wants to curb this growing trend. Recent Amazon guidelines shared with internal recruiters at the company say that job applicants can be disqualified from the hiring process if they're found to have used an AI tool during job interviews. Yeah, I think this is totally reasonable and probably the stance of most companies. Notice it does say during job interviews. So I don't think it's an issue if you use AI to say build your resume, but if you're using AI in the middle of a live interview, that is just not a good idea. One on the side of, I don't think you would pass the interview anyways. I think you would end up 
probably doing very poorly in the interview. And two, it's sort of unethical and it's against their policies and they're probably going to fail you for it. And it's probably going to be very, very obvious. Okay, so Amazon believes the use of AI tools in interviews gives candidates an unfair advantage and prevents the company from evaluating their authentic skills and experiences the guidelines which were obtained by Business Insider say. So this is kind of interesting, though, because Amazon and lots of other companies are encouraging employees to use AI on the job. So I do wonder how it to them is like not evaluating their authentic skills and experiences because ultimately if you're using AI during the interview and you're using AI during the job you could almost argue that this is more authentically maybe not evaluating their individual skills but their ability to do the job in the way that they would actually be doing the job for example there's some companies that I've actually interviewed at the most notable of which being Stripe where the interviewers at the start of the interview were very clear with me of hey if you need to Google something or something like that, by all means, do that. Now, this was before ChatGPT and all of these different AI tools. So it was just if you need to Google some syntax or something like that, you can do that. But this to me, I thought was a really good idea because they were still giving me very difficult questions and testing my ability to do some coding. But they were doing it in a more realistic way, because if I come into some roadblock in an actual work environment, I'm not just going to stare at the code for an hour and try to figure it out. I'm going to Google it. And that to me seemed like a better way to actually evaluate my ability to solve those problems. But on the other side, I can't see how if you're letting people use AI, it's probably a step too far because the AI can probably solve the entire problem for you. And it's hard to sort of build an interview question that is difficult in the way of normal software engineering where AI would struggle, but a human that is good at software engineering wouldn't struggle. It's probably pretty difficult to come up with good questions like that. So I can see how they would probably not want you using AI, but at the same time, you're probably going to be using AI on the actual job. All right, so to ensure a fair and transparent recruitment process, please do not use Gen AI tools during your interview unless explicitly permitted. The guidelines say failure to adhere to these guidelines may result in disqualification from the recruitment process and it tells Amazon recruiters to share these rules with job candidates. So that I think is a very good thing that they're telling candidates this ahead of time because I could see somebody doing this and maybe thinks it's eh, maybe not actually. I don't think there's anybody who's going to be doing this and thinking they're not cheating. But regardless, I think it's good that they're sort of warning people, hey, don't do this. It's a really bad idea. Also, beyond the fact that this is a bad idea because they are going to fail you in the interview for doing this. I honestly think it would be more difficult to pass a coding interview by using AI and some fancy teleprompter thing and to try to get away with it than it would be to just get good at coding interviews and to pass them the same way that people have been passing coding interviews for the last decade or however long we've been doing them. And my personal recommendation, if you are starting for coding interviews, would be to use Algo Expert. I was actually a customer of the company way back in the day. And as many of you know, I actually joined the company a few years ago and I'm an instructor on the Algo Expert platform. So some of the algorithm style coding interviews, I'm the instructor in the videos for them and I wrote these solutions, as well as I'm the instructor for front end experts. So all of the front end interview prep material on the platform, I'm the instructor of. So if you do like my teaching style, there's a lot of content that I made on the Algo Expert platform. And there's also a good number of free problems on Algo Expert. So my general recommendation is to give some of those free problems a try to see if the platform is a good fit for you or not. All right. So the crackdown highlights one of the many ethical challenges that are bubbling up from the rise of generative artificial intelligence. Amazon has restricted employees' use of AI tools such as ChatGPT, even as it encourages them to employ internal AI apps to boost productivity. That's kind of interesting that they've, I mean, I understand why they would not want people using tools like ChatGPT because they don't know where that data is going, but I'm assuming a lot of Amazon employees internally are using Amazon Q. So it's not like they're saying, you can't use AI at all, right? Unless I'm misinterpreting that. Hacking job interviews with AI is a growing trend, prompting debate across Silicon Valley. I'm just so curious, like, are there actually people who are currently software engineers at Google, Facebook, Amazon, Microsoft, etc., who got their job because they used AI to cheat in the job interview and otherwise would not have passed it? Like, do those people actually exist or they're just people trying it and failing. I'm, I'm very curious if anybody's actually heard a story of somebody who I guess admitted to doing this. Okay, so in a recent internal Slack conversation seen by Business Insider, some Amazon employees debated the need to ban AI tools during job interviews when they can improve the quality of work. This is certainly an increasing trend, especially for tech slash SDE roles. One of the Slack messages said referring to software development engineers. An Amazon spokesperson said the company's recruiting process prioritizes ensuring that candidates hold a high bar. When applicable, candidates must acknowledge that they won't use unauthorized tools like Gen AI to support them, 
During an interview, the spokesperson added. Okay, so then it has some tips to identify the use of Gen AI tools, which, yeah, it's very, very easy to identify if somebody is cheating using generative AI. So the trend has become a big enough problem for Amazon that it has even shared internal tips on how to spot applicants using Gen AI tools during interviews. The indicators, the guidelines say, include the candidate can be seen typing while being asked questions. Yeah, this is a big one. It's super obvious if you're distracted and doing something else on your computer. Now, this doesn't mean 100% that person is cheating and typing into ChatGPT, right? They could be responding to a text message. They could be just taking notes and writing down things the interviewer asked them so they can come back to them later. There's lots of things they could be doing, but it's sort of a red flag that potentially they are typing into ChatGPT or some other tool. The candidate appears to be reading their answers rather than responding naturally. This could include correcting themselves when they misread a word. Yeah, it is so, so incredibly difficult to read something and make it sound like you are not reading. It is a very difficult skill. Even if you go and you watch like the news, if you watch CNN or Fox News or MSNBC or whatever news channel, they're all reading off of teleprompters and you can tell. And these are people who read off the teleprompter every single day. It's their job to read off of teleprompters and you can still tell that that's what they're doing because reading does not sound the same as naturally speaking. The candidate's eyes appear to be tracking text or looking elsewhere rather than viewing their primary display or moving naturally during conversation. Yeah, this is another one if you're reading. Depends what you're reading on. If you're using an actual teleprompter, it's a little bit harder to tell, but most people don't have an actual teleprompter. I guess you could buy one for the purpose of an interview, but most people don't have one and they're going to be reading off a screen or something and it's pretty obvious just looking at your eyes that that's what you're doing. The candidate delivers confident responses that do not clearly or directly address the question. Yeah, this I think is another one where it's like a human, unless they're like a PR trained politician type of human are going to want to answer the questions they were given. But sometimes like an AI is going to give more of those like politician type answers where you see them sort of beating around the bush too much. Also, there's the chance of like a confidently incorrect answer or answering a question different than what was asked, either because the candidate mistyped in something to the AI and then just read what the AI told them, or it could be something like the candidate asked the AI a question and the AI had a similar question in its training data, but it's a different question. And the AI answered the question it's seen before, not the exact question that was asked. And that's just a very obvious, okay, this person's probably using AI. The candidate reacts to the, or actually back on that, it is obvious that they're using AI or potentially they've seen the question before and they're just regurgitating information. That does happen too, where somebody's seen some question when they were doing coding interview prep and they think the question the interviewer is asking is the exact same question. So they just answer the question they've already seen rather than asking clarifying questions and realizing they're actually being asked a variant of the question or something slightly different. But okay, the candidate reacts to the outputs of the AI tool when they appear to be incorrect or irrelevant. This is often demonstrated by the candidate being distracted or confused as they're trying to make sense of the outputs. Yeah, if you ask AI something, even if it's able to instantly give you the answer, the amount of time for you to read the answer it gave you and sort of understand it is going to be very awkward in an interview when you're just trying to understand what exactly this AI just told you, especially if it's a particularly complicated question. It's not going to be super easy to just immediately understand exactly what that AI said to you. Okay, so while candidates are permitted to talk about how they've used generative AI applications to achieve efficiencies in their current or previous roles, they're strictly prohibited from using them during the interviews the Amazon guidelines add. A recent video produced by an AI company that claims to have received a job offer from Amazon using its coding assistant during an interview raised alarms internally, one person familiar with the matter told Business Insider. This person asked not to be identified because they were not authorized to speak with the media. Mainstream problem. This is not just an Amazon problem. Job seekers are becoming increasingly bold in interviews using different AI tools. A recent experiment found it was easy to cheat in job interviews using AI tools like ChatGPT. Interesting. So maybe we should look at this experiment one day because again, I am curious how they found it easy because I just don't think it would be easy. I think it would be easy to try. Like, I don't think that there's a whole lot stopping you from doing it, but to actually pass the interviews and to make it not extremely obvious, especially a tech interview. If it's just like a generic interview and you're interviewing with somebody who's not super tech savvy, I could see them not noticing it. But if it's on their radar, at all that it's a possibility, I just don't see a way that you'd be able to get away with it. Okay, in October, the ex-AI founder Greg Yang wrote on X 
that he'd caught a job candidate cheating with Anthropic's Claude AI service. The candidate tried to use Claude during the interview, but it was way too obvious. Yeah, I think this is probably more common than people would expect, or at least more common within the number of people who are trying to cheat this way. Matthew Bidwell, a business professor at Warden, told Business Insider that these AI tools definitely penetrated the mainstream and employers are worried about it. Yeah, that makes sense. And citing conversations with students in his executive management program, Bidwell said it's a problem when employers can't detect these tools and job candidates are uncomfortable acknowledging their use. There's a strong risk of people using it to misrepresent their skills. And I think that is somewhat unethical. Yeah, I would agree. Although again, I just think you're going to get caught. And I also don't think this is any more unethical than the fact that people have been lying on their resumes for decades. And it's also not a new thing to lie during job interviews, right? People make up stories. You ask somebody the question, tell me about a time that you resolved some conflict or one of those generic type of job interview questions. And lots of people just completely make up an answer. Same thing with on resumes. People add skills they don't actually have. People change their job titles and they change all these different things to make themselves sound better. People have been lying in the job interview process for forever. So I actually don't think this is all that new of an issue. It's just sort of manifesting itself in a slightly different way. Okay, but does this raise the bar is an interesting question. So not everyone is opposed to it. Some Silicon Valley companies are open to allowing these apps in job interviews because they've already used them at work. Yeah, I think if you tell candidates like, hey, use whatever you would use at the job, I think that's a good way to evaluate their ability to actually do the job, which is what the interview is supposed to do. Others are making the technical interview an open book test, but adding questions for a deeper assessment. Yeah, I think essentially open book tests can be a good thing. I don't know that it should be exclusively open book tests. I think some mix might be good, but I don't think there's anything necessarily wrong with that approach. So some Amazon employees appear less concerned about it too. One person wrote in a recent Slack conversation seen by the Business Insider at Amazon, their team was studying the possibility of providing a generative AI assistant to candidates and changing their hiring approach. Okay, that's interesting if the company just gave you some gen AI that you can use. Another person said that even if a candidate got hired after using these tools, Amazon had other mechanisms to address those who do not meet expectations for their roles. Yeah, if you use a bunch of tools to cheat in the job interview, there's a good chance you're going to get a job that you are not actually qualified for and you're probably going to end up not having a job very soon when it becomes obvious that you can't do the job that you were actually hired for. A third person questioned whether Amazon could benefit from this. Using generative AI may be dishonest or unprofessional, this person said, but on the other hand, it's raising the bar for Amazon by improving the quality of the interview. I don't know that I fully understand that because it might be raising the bar in the sense of, oh, we have to make the questions harder if people are cheating on them, but it doesn't matter how hard you make the questions if people are cheating. If I was a math teacher teaching like middle school math, and I found that no matter what I do, the students are passing the test because they're using AI to cheat, if I start giving these middle school students like Calc 3 and all of these difficult math class type tests and they're passing all of them, sure, I've raised the bar in that I made it harder, but I'm not teaching them anymore. In the same way that making the interviews harder if people are just cheating on them isn't getting you better employees. It's just making the interview artificially harder for no purpose. So if judged solely by the outcome, it would be considered bar raising this person wrote. Okay, well, interesting. I'm curious what you all think about this. Do you know anybody who's tried to cheat on job interviews? Have you tried to cheat on job interviews? Have you been an interviewer and seen somebody try to cheat? Do you think it's an issue at all? Do you think it's not an issue? Let me know down in the comments section below. And again, if you are studying for coding interviews, I highly recommend you don't try to cheat, but instead give AlgoExpert a try. There's going to be a link at the top of the description and I'll see you in the next video.